Hello and welcome to this session on packages in Python. Today we are going to talk about how can we leverage packages and create in Python. So now let's discuss what's in it for us today. We will discuss what are Python packages, how do we create those packages, and we will be supporting them with an example. And then we will discuss different ways to access Python packages. So as we have discussed in our earlier sessions that you know we can create modules, but packages are one level above. They allow you to structure your modules in a more organized fashion, and we will see how. Now, what are Python packages? Packages are the same as a directory. They are like you're creating a directory structure, and within the directory, you can create sub packages and modules in a structured way, making the sub packages and modules easy to access and easy to understand. So basically, it's like an analogy to a folder, like you create structured folders in your computer and you organize your data. You create subfolders so that you can easily navigate and remember where you have kept what. That's the same concept which is applicable in Python packages. Packages helps us keep other sub packages and modules to be used by the other user when necessary. So basically, uh, when the other uh, programmers or the Python files import the packages, you have a modular structure, you have a directory structure and it makes it easy to import. Now, the first step in order to create a Python package is to create init.py file. That underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py file is a mandatory file to be kept in a package and that's how you signify, you notify the Python interpreter that you know there's a package which has been created. Now, the init.py file can be empty. If it is empty, it means that all the modules, all the functions within that particular package are allowed to be imported. And if it is not empty, then you can specify which particular function in a particular module is allowed to be imported. Other than that, anything, nothing else will be allowed. So it's a very important file which has to be present and we will see in our example. Now a package can be imported the same way as we have learned in the past how a module is imported. Syntactically it's very similar and you will observe it. Now here is an example of a typical package structure and we are going to be showing this example. Now we have created a package called music application and the music application package has its own init.py file and we have created a sample signup.py file in which we will import uh, the functions from sub packages like options, playlist filter and play and each sub package if you see also have their own independent.py file and within that you have your modules, uh, speed, repeat, shuffle under options, single, genre, album under playlist filter and start, next, previous under play. So in our example, we will be invoking certain functions in few of these files and showing you how to invoke functions under the modules of a sub package. Now, let me show you my package structure. Now this is my Jupyter and under my Jupyter notebook, the root folder, I have the music application. Now if you see the structure as compared to what we were showing in the presentation, I will just... Now here you have the music application and under that you have init.py, okay, which is empty, which means uh, we are allowing to import all the functions and modules. And then we have the signup.py. So in this, in this, we are going to invoke our sub packages, options, and play. So we are going to invoke sub package options and play and the functions uh, within that. So this is the module speed, option speed, 
and within that we have option underscore speed function so i'll go to options speed and this function we're going to invoke right so this is one sample invocation and then uh, we're going to also invoke a function underscore in, in play so we go to play and then within play we are saying start and we're going to call a function play start okay so this is our sample package structure with which we are leveraging for our example just uh, description and then uh, you know you can use different syntaxes to import the package and within the package you can import the uh, module name the sub package and the respective module name uh, whatever way you want but all these syntax says are available to you in python in order to uh, invoke the relevant function within those packages and modules so if you see this sign up.py we are using this syntax import package name module name which is the speed module okay you can also use import package name sub package name then the module name etc so you know all those relevant options are available to you now let's try to invoke uh, certain sub packages and modules so like i am writing uh, import option speed so i'm going to be invoking options speed and then i'm going to import the function option underscore speed so this is one this is that invocation and then i have import play dot start and then i'm calling the function play start uh, which is play start play start okay and if you run and then similarly within the play previous uh, i'm playing the play previous function you run it and you get the you print the sops which are there similarly you can import playlist underscore filter dot singer this is another package and i am calling it in from my sample jupyter notebook file now you can also invoke your signup.py file directly here what you just need to do is type percentage run signup.py and just run it and all the commands all these syntaxes within that file will get executed so with this what we have learned is that you know you can packages is a very simple concept in python it is just about structuring your modules structuring your sub packages and uh, keeping it in a you know understandable and a, a reusable manner so that you can easily point to the correct module and allow others to import it for uh, utility or for you know code inheritance so that makes the life easy for the developers also so i hope you all had a great learning session and i'll meet you in my next session thank you Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.